everyone, it's Sevi. For a quick follow-up to my Kuki Shinobu guide, I'm going to showcase each of her constellations to see what changes they make and give my thoughts on their value. This will be a short video meant to help anyone aiming for constellations to better see what they're getting or aiming for. So let's get into it. First up is C1 and it just increases the AoE of Kuki's burst by 50%. Let's see the before and after of its radius. You can clearly see the AoE increase here. How useful is it? It seems situationally useful. At most, it'll help ensure that multiple enemies spread apart will be caught by the burst and have Electro applied on them. This is especially nice for taser teams in multi-target battles, but against bosses, it won't matter. And if you have a crowd controller on the team, the original AoE will more than suffice to catch the enemies. Now let's activate C2. This simply increases her skill duration by 3 seconds. But this is a nice improvement to her core ability. Aside from allowing you to have theoretically 100% uptime, this adds 2 more pulses of healing and electro damage which also means that the 4 piece tenacity sets bonus is easier to maintain. These ticks also have chances to generate electro particles so at least more energy. Most importantly for me though, it adds another instance of Electro application, which at least improves her function and reaction dependent teams. Overall, one of her more desirable constellations. C3 increases her skill damage and healing. The damage is still a joke, but at least it makes her a more decent healer. Now let's activate C4. It's supposed to add an instance of HP scaling AoE electro damage when the active character affected by Kuki's ring deals basic attack damage, which can be procced every 5 seconds. What I mainly wanted to confirm were the following things. How big the AoE is, if it had separate ICD, and if the reaction damage scales on Kuki's EM. I actually had no idea what it would look like. I thought it would be a lightning bolt from above, so when it procced, I was surprised with the animation looking like this. It looks kinda cool, so at least the aesthetic value is there. Anyway, the splash damage is quite small, so enemies should be grouped or positioned very closely for this to have more use. It also has a separate Electro Application ICD from her skill, which is nice to let you either set up or proc Electro-related reactions. And to be clear, the damage will also scale off Kuki's EM, not the active characters. The Electro damage scales on Kuki's max HP and it can crit, but even so, it's not much again. Really, the Electro application is the real value from this constellation. Kuki C5 increases the level of her burst by 3, bumping the damage by a little bit. At least, coupled with her C1, she has a stronger, bigger burst, but that's not saying much. Last is Kuki C6. While healers like Chi Chi and Barbara will revive a fallen character, Kuki will prevent herself from dying? Kuki's last constellation is an emergency measure to let her survive a lethal blow and leave her with 1 HP remaining. This can only proc every 60 seconds. There are situational issues with this though. One, if Kuki manages to get hit by consecutive attacks and this procs in the middle of it, she's most likely going to still die, unfortunately. Then afterwards, if this is triggered in Spiral Abyss and she's your only healer, you'll have to let her stay on the field if you still want to heal her. And hopefully, during that time, she also won't die. That 60 second cooldown on her C6 also carries over in resetting Spiral Abyss floors. For example, here, her passive kicks in as you see that 1 HP remaining for a split second. I reset, try the same thing, and her HP goes straight to zero. It's a failsafe, though I do wish it had an extra effect that made it a better failsafe. Furthermore, when her HP is lower than 25%, like in this clip, she'll have an extra 150 EM, which of course benefits her heals and reaction damage. Likewise, this only procs every 60 seconds, and it lasts for 15 seconds, which means that in Spiral Abyss, for example, it's only up for about 1 rotation per chamber, so if you're in a fight that takes 3-4 to four rotations, her C6 EM buff effectively isn't much in the long run. Personally, 
Finally, it feels like an underwhelming constellation as well. Maybe what could have made this at least somewhat more enticing to maintain is if it were a permanent buff. As long as you are below 25%, like her A1's healing bonus condition. So in conclusion, I think her most interesting constellations are C2 to C4. C2 for quality of life, C3 for generally improving her healing, and C4 for the added electro application. However, I don't find any of these as must-pull, big improvement constellations, and I personally wouldn't advise you to force getting her constellations. Anyway, that's going to be all for this quick video. Comment down below if you did manage to pull any kooky constellations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel for more Genshin Impact guides and content, and I will see you all soon. Take care!